County. This is lifting to the east northeast right now at roughly 30 miles per hour. We can see it moving through Gumbud, Fayette, crossing over Highway 43. Next up will be Bluff, Guin, Carbon Hill, Lynn, and Slick Lizard. Here's a look at Baysmore, 424. That's who's up next. Time right now is 416, so in about 10 minutes, the leading edge of this will be moving to the north. And actually, that severe thunderstorm warning has just expired, but it's still going to produce quite a bit of rainfall, especially along Interstate 22 between Hamilton and Carbon Hill. So just be mindful of that if you're crossing over the interstate. Any point between Jasper and Hamilton could be slick roadways there. Again, this will be lifting to the northeast. Our future scan showing the next 60 minutes. It will be moving into Carbon Hill, Slick Blizzard Lynn moving through Guin and then ending up in Double Springs shortly after 5 p.m. But look at the radar. If you'll notice the big picture, these storms are very isolated in nature. This is kind of the real definition of isolated thunderstorms on this spring afternoon. It's the case of the haves and the have-nots, as I like to say. Some have the rain and, like Summerton, some do not. Although, Summerton sky likely to grow increasingly gray here over the next 30 minutes or so as these storms are approaching from your southwest. Temperature is right now pretty warm, low to mid-80s. We've got some hot spots. Tuscaloosa is at 87. Aniston 79, but that's rain-cooled air. If you're out on the town tonight, you might want to grab the umbrella. Not everyone will need it, but better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Temperatures will remain in the 80s through 7 p.m., mid-70s by 9 o'clock tonight, with those overnight lows in the low to mid-60s. A balmy night, clouds will be on the increase, and we will still have some overnight thunderstorms. Most of these likely to stay below severe weather limits. If we have anything, it might be a quick severe thunderstorm morning, but these aren't going to be rotating storms. As we move into Tuesday, temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s. It will be a mostly cloudy day and can't rule out a few spotty storms. Here's what that's going to look like on your future cast. So through the evening hours, seeing those clouds, but by 10 a.m., we could just see some stray sprinkles and some light rain. Not going to be a major storm event tomorrow. Don't go canceling outdoor plans, but don't be caught off guard if you get a little rain either. Temperatures by mid-afternoon in the mid-80s. And then we'll have this cold front that moves in from our northwest Wednesday and a brief dry out by Thursday until we see a bit more wet weather as we move into our weekend. So.